beautiful people welcome back to my channel okay so we're doing a reading today and this reading is I'm trying to look at my deck where the fuck my deck go here it is okay this reading is your next major life change that's coming towards you so we have three pounds today right let me get three cards let's see what's coming towards pal one pal two and pal three let's see Okay. Oh, okay. One more. We only need one more. Oh, oh, shit. We got four. But we're not doing four pounds. So, let's, well, we can bring it both. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Actually. So for pile number one, we have the eight of cups. For pile number two, we have the ten of swords. For pile number three, we have the king of cups and the seven of swords. Pick the pile that best resonates with your energy. Make sure you go with your first mind because your first mind is your best mind. I have readings on my website, thelovemealways.com. I am on Instagram at queensandraxo. I am also on Patreon, and I just posted a Patreon voting yesterday to see what you guys wanted to watch, okay? So, let me know what you guys want to watch on my Patreon for my Patreon people, and we are going to get started. Hi, pal one. Okay, pal one, uh, what is your next major life-changing thing that's coming towards you? This is pretty exciting. I don't know if y'all excited for this, but I'm excited. Let's get a little affirmation, though. I'm going to be... One day I'm going to be like those uh, people that already have their cards laid out, but not today. Let's get two of them. <laughs> not today. We're not, we're not going to do that today. Okay, so what are they saying next major life change? I honor my time and energy by making smart choices that leave me feeling good about myself. I trust in the perfection of divine timing. Mm. So, it seems like something that you've been waiting for is coming towards you. Something that you feel like you've been putting out into the universe. Something that you feel like probably would be really good for you is coming towards you. Spirit says you've been surrendering to spirit. So, now they are giving you the wonders of the world, the wonders of the universe. You just... You've been in meditation. It's like you've been trying to heal yourself, replenish yourself, and now you're ready for what you've been asking for. You have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is all about walking away to be able to discover what one wants One with one. Oh, Lord. To be able to discover what one wants as well as what one needs. <laughs> you have gotten it and you've been asking for it, making effort towards it. And now Spirit says it's time. Okay, let's see. What is power one? What is their next major life change that's coming towards them? For power number one, what next major life change is coming towards power number one? What is your next major one? Like major, major. Not like little bitty, itty, she bitty, you know. But may. Oh. You've been in the energy of silence. Some of you guys might be going on a vacation. Uh, somewhere that is like, uh, somewhere you got to travel to, travel to. You've been at peace. Like, you have a lot of energy of silence. Maybe you want silence. Look, silence is golden. That's what they say, right? So, and, and silence can replenish you. Silence can bring you peace. Maybe you're going to be silent from, uh, maybe a, a enemy is going to be silent right? Maybe you've been having your name out in the world and people have been talking about you. That's going to be silence. There's something about your energy that's going to be peaceful. That's coming towards you. Spirit says that you've been working and asking and, and giving over your giving over your trials and tribulations to God. Giving over your goals to God after you have done everything you've after you've done everything you can you've given the rest over to Spirit and trying to just get what you've been wanting to come to fruition and i feel like whatever you've been asking for and putting in dedication is going to happen um it's even saying like you've been obsessing about certain things maybe it's your wealth maybe it's your stability maybe it's some type of building of a family a legacy a name you know 
I think it's love. <laughs> Maybe you've been wanting to have um, some type of family with someone. Maybe you've been asking for a partner. This is for some for some of you guys. I feel like you've been putting in a lot of dedication to the things that you want, right? So it's something that you've been working after, and you have just given it up to God and say, God, whatever is meant for me is meant for me. And you've been waiting because divine timing is in motion in this, in your life, right? Um, you've just been in the ecstasy of flow and just going with the flow of life, enjoying your life, you know, making steps towards the things that you want. And it's saying that you've been in silence. So you've probably been meditating. You've probably been away from people. You've probably been alone, right? And there's nothing wrong with being alone. Trust me, I get my best work done when I am alone. I get I have my best times when I am alone. <laughs> you know, so it, it's nothing wrong because being alone can show you a lot about yourself, right? And then you've been and you've been in this healing replenishing paying attention to yourself type of energy also some of you guys might be going on a vacation that might be a really big thing some of you guys might be moving across the country or like across the world uh but it's saying a lot of travel type of energy but i just feel like whatever you've been contemplating over like constantly obsessing about thinking about whatever you've been making wanting to make investments towards whatever you've been just it just seems like you're putting out an energy into the world on something that you really, really want. And you're going to get it. You're going to get it 100%. It is saying that you have the Ten of Pentacles energy, right? So the Ten of Pentacles energy is all about money. Money, 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 okay? But it's also about legacy, family, building a solid foundation, being able to leave money for your children. Like, even in this cards, so their, root, their roots are so grounded, they have crystals. And they're, they have crystals underneath their foundation. So it is saying, like, the, you know... I'm a pretty sure it's, it's about wealth. But I feel like either you're trying to build a family, you're trying to build on your financial endeavors, or you are just trying to build something solid for your life. And you've been asking and waiting and, and contributing your time and opening up to the end result of this, whatever is supposed to happen, I feel like you're going to get it. Uh, for some of you guys, it is a husband or a wife, right? You're looking for a relationship that's going to be sustainable through for the rest of your life. And I feel like you're going to get that. I feel like you're going to get a lot of peace from stress. Uh, and for the ones who's just looking for a general reading, uh, not pretending love, I just feel like you've created something in your life. You have discovered something that you really, really want. And this is not like... Oh, I want to go to the store and get me some chocolate. I really, really wanted this. This is not that simple reading. This is like something life changing. <laughs> and I can, you know, they say chocolate is that good, but I don't think it's that it'd be life changing. This is something where it's going to affect you with, it's going to affect you in five years from now. It's going to affect you probably 10 years from now. This is going to be something that's going to be long longevity it's like you're making smart choices and spirit sees you making those smart choices and you're just going with what spirit has for you and you're going to bring in something that's really really beneficial to you something that is meant for you something your soul recognizes and it's like you guys you are attracting like a magnet whatever you are asking for it can be love it can be wealth it can just be success it could be travel it could be something that about you know having a really good job whatever you have been asking for and making smart choices for smart actions towards this is what you're going to get and it's going to be very very beneficial it's going to set you up for even more greatness to be honest with you so, Pal One, please let me know if this makes any type of sense. I really hope it does. Congratulations on this beautiful energy because this is saying that whatever you've been asking for, you are about to get. So, that's wonderful. So, if this makes any type of sense to you, please let me know. And I'll talk to you beautiful people in the next one. Hi, Pal Two. Okay. So, let's see what major shit is coming towards you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Because I think that this is, I think this will be something that will be really, really good. I, I feel like this is a really good reading for my people. Y'all been needing to know what's about to happen. Oh, 
Spirit says, now this is, this is not my, mm. it's a good card, but it's not my favorite because I don't like embracing the in-between, but like I say all the time, don't do as I do, do as I say, okay? Embrace the in-between. It's something that you are about to get, but you are in the midst, you are in the thick of it, okay? Spirit says that they have your back, so don't worry about the, the outcome of the situation, because Spirit is saying, like, right now is for you to embrace the journey, right? Now is a time for you to realize that you have a lot of help. So people are push you, pushing you along on this journey. And you need to trust in magic. Trust that anything's possible. Trust that you can create what you want. Trust that you can manifest and have exactly what you feel like you need in your life. Spirit says that you are powerful and that you are learning from your past. This is wonderful. I love it. Come on, child. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, it's so nice. Ooh, okay. This card tried to come out too. So, honestly, I feel like you're in the energy of... It's like you're, you're wanting something. Something's coming into your life. But you're quite not there yet. I feel like you're in the thick of it right now. It's like Spirit has this plan for you. They have this journey for you. It's like the Ten of Swords. That's why I always put them cards up there. Because they do end up correlating, right? It seems like you are getting over something that is, that probably was traumatizing, probably something that created fears, probably something that created obsession, probably something that created anxiety. But you're getting over this energy and trusting that spirit has your back because maybe you've seen some things that spirit has done for you or put you through and you came out unscathed and you're you're ready for more, right? Probably not ready for more, but you came down unbruised and unbattered and spirit has just been putting you through things to give you blessings, right? And in this energy, spirit just wants you to continue to trust in trust in the magic. You have some messages that's about cuz when I look at birds, I think birds are messages. So, cuz you have two birds actually uh that's a bird isn't that isn't that a bird girl because i don't know eagles are birds peacocks are birds uh a raven is a bird and a flamingo is a bird right y'all are correct look you know i ain't been in kindergarten for a minute so correct me <laughs> if i'm wrong but I, I feel like all of those are birds and you have a lot of birds and actually okay okay google what do birds mean spiritually i can search the web for that just tap that search chip below. Well, well bitch, I, I thought that's what your job was. Which, what you been doing this whole time? Okay, Google. What do birds mean spiritually? I found these results. Thank you. Thank you. I, look, I appreciate you. I just thought that that was your job. Symbol, very different type of color. More of your so. Ooh. Messages representing fertility, protection, and strength. Okay. I got that. I felt that. Okay. I received it. So, Spirit is saying, honestly, if you are outside and you see a lot of birds around you, that is Spirit reminding you that we're here. They're saying that birds are definitely messengers. Like I said before, I feel like birds, and it's a bird on here too. Birds are messengers 100%. But in this reading, it says the same thing in spirit messengers, right? But some of it can be representing fertility if you want to get pregnant. Some are representing protection if you're worried about people trying to harm you. And some of them are representing strength to let you know that you need to stay strong in whatever you're doing on this earth. Because you have the power to create the life that you want, right? Trust in that magic. Let your... You have a lot of birds. Letting your... Um, let yourself shine. Let people see who you truly are. Oh, I like that. That was beautiful. So what unexpected changes is coming to Pile 2? What unexpected changes are coming towards Pile 2? What, expect, what unexpected, ooh, ooh, unexpected changes are coming towards Pile number 2? Shit. Ooh. 
about to get some clarity. You've been thinking something that you've been obsessing about. Oh, okay. Maybe that's it. Okay. What unexpected changes are coming towards pile number two? What major, what majors, 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 majors. What majors allow life changes? Oh, oh, that's nice. Spirit says stay hopeful. Whatever you've been, um, something about you've been dreaming about things. If you had a dream about something pertaining probably your love life or your financial life, uh, it's probably a, was a message. You've been getting a lot of messages. I think Spirit has been sending you messages. Uh, we have the Two of Wands and the Ace of Cups. That's planning. Cup overflowing. It could be new love. It could be old love. It could be falling in love with a career. Falling in love with something. By like feeling it. The High Priestess. That's knowledge. That's hidden knowledge. That's protection of secrets. That is the one who holds the key. That could be a person. The moon card is fear, disillusionment, not being able to see things truly, clearly, fear, anxiety, but emotions. The hangman is got a lot of spiritual cards, says Hierophant, Lord. Okay. <laughs> all right. Now we're done. Look at all these freaking major out of cards. Okay. Let's put them in order. them in order. Come on. Shit. Uh -huh. Now let your life shine. Watch something that you need to watch and wait for. Something the spirit, I see, <laughs> spirit says that we working overtime to make this happen so you just need to just wait on it little mama. Wait. <laughs> I don't know who was that talking to me like that but this spirit guy was just like just wait on it baby just wait on it <laughs> it's so smooth so you might have some but you might honestly have someone coming towards you this person is going to be very very smooth with the way they talk to you because i don't know who spirit guy that was i ain't never heard him before but he's like just wait on it little mom it's okay it's coming towards you so you probably you're about to get out of hermit energy and i feel like very quickly you are about to come into a situation, maybe with friends, maybe celebrating something over the holidays. But you might end up falling in love with someone and committing and working at it. Um, it seems like this is someone that you're going to be able to plan a future with. Something that I think that you maybe you've been obsessing about a person or maybe obsessing about meeting a new person. I don't feel like this is financial. I don't feel like this is just a general. It just seems like... Okay, let's go with the general, right? We're going to go with the people that's not interested in nobody, right? Or not interested in love, let's say that. So if this is a general reading, I feel like you are in the energy of really thinking about something, 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 something that you've been wanting, right? And Spirit says stay hopeful because that's what you're going to get. And this is going to be something that is going to make you feel emotionally fulfilled. It's going to make you probably cry when you get this, um, when you get this blessing, I should say. It's something that is going to fit into your future because you probably have planned for it. You've been wanting this so much that you probably made room for it. But I just feel like whatever you're about to receive is going to be good for your financial, nah, maybe it's finances, maybe it's money probably good for your financial future it's a lot of like you you got plans on what you're going to do with this blessing and this change that's coming into your life spirit says use your intuition because you are the high priestess you are the person who knows what's about to happen you probably been getting dreams you probably been getting messages you probably been getting feelings about what you want especially if you're obsessing about something sometimes when we obsess and this is sometimes we are pulled we are being pulled and directed towards a certain situation so and especially if you're dreaming about someone else they're probably dreaming about you too or been thinking about you but you know it see it's that energy of that that pulling of energy so if you're thinking about like accomplishing a goal and you can see yourself accomplishing in this goal you will spirit says this energy is going to come very dramatically it's going to come out of nowhere and you're not going to be all that sure about what's going on that's probably why they're saying that you're in the thick of it because you have this already coming towards you you just need to keep going even though you can't see the outcome outcome of it or even girl i probably need to slow down but 
that's how I talk. <laughs> um, even if you can't see what's really going on or if you can't see the future and maybe you're a little anxious, Spirit says maybe you need to just relax and just let us do the work because this is something you're going to have people that's going to come around and going to be able to help you with this project. And, and, and it's saying that you're building some type of solid solid foundation to be able to create what you want and take a leap of <sighs> it's like now you are in the energy of about to about to be exactly where you want to be you're, you're going through this energy right now and spirit says even though you can't see keep going Spirit says, learn your lessons from past. Don't keep don't keep on fucking up. No, please don't keep on fucking up. And if you are fearful, that's why they have that hangman and that watching that weight. The hangman is meant for you to see things from a different perspective. But also for me and the way I interpret the, interpret the hangman is that this is just someone who doesn't know what to do. So they just surrender and they don't do anything. And that's what you need to do. Just nothing right now. Because they're going to send what you need in order for you to make what you want. Because it's saying that you're obsessing about something. And you're going to get what you're obsessing about. You're definitely, you're going to be in the energy very soon of getting out of that fogginess. And being able to take a true leap of faith on whatever you desire. Now, if this is love, you got somebody that's coming towards you that you're going to want to work on it. You guys are going to commit to each other. You're going to be very fearful. Uh, probably not, it, it, you guys are going to be emotionally attached to each other very quickly. And it's going to seem like, uh, you're not really sure about what's going on, but listen to your intuition because this person is coming in to change your life very dramatically. And you need to take a leap of faith and strategize about what you want to do with this person in the future. So if this makes any type of sense, pal number two, please let me know. Uh, and I'll talk to you beautiful people in the next one. Hi, pound number three, my beautiful people. Okay, so welcome back to my wonderful reading, okay? Um, we're going to just be talking about what do you need to expect, right? You have a major, but what the hell is this? You have a major blessing coming into your life, and I'm nosy, so I'm going to figure out what it is, and then I'm going to tell you what Spirit has said, okay? So for power number three... What major, like, this ain't no foo-foo like I'm about to go buy a dog. Like, that's, that's, <laughs> honey, that's 100% life-changing. Don't get me wrong. But this is, like, major at, you know, this is like, you about to buy a house, you know. You, you know what, I'm going to put the dog in the major category, too, because, child, these fucking animals, they do be pretty major. They will change your life, honey. They will change your life. But what major, major blessings? What major challenges is coming for power three? What well, major blessings? Major challenges? Somebody's manifesting something. Somebody's believing that they're able to manifest things. Somebody's taking... Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I just burped. Somebody taking a leap of faith, embracing, embracing the future. You know embracing joy this is wonderful i actually really like this um spirit says that you are take these two cards yes please oh shit okay got the ace of pentacles and the temperance card okay all right so we got soaring into joy we got manifesting dreams, believing in magic, believing in miracles. So what major, major, I, I feel like a major financial opportunity is about to come at you, Pal 3, just saying. What major opportunities is coming towards Pal 3? Like, this is unexpected. This is major something. They can be like, y'all, guess what? You got the full card twice. What are you what are you manifesting, girl? <laughs> or boy, what you manifesting? What you what you creating? Cause be careful what you ask for, I can tell you that much. Cause you just might get that shit and be like, bitch, guess what I asked for? And guess what I got? But I don't really want it because it's crazy. That's why I don't do obsession spells with men because the men be crazy. Okay, spirit. So I feel like you are about to get some type of answer that you some type of question that you've been asking for is about to be answered spirit says that you are about to be filled with joy 
<laughs> you're about to be filled with joy and i feel like an opportunity a solid opportunity is about to come at you i feel like you are about to rise above the rest honey and it's like you've been on this journey trying to figure out what will make you happy trying probably asking like what's your next step just trying to figure out what's beneficial for you and honey you are going to run into it like a brick wall but instead of it being a wall is going to be a door and you're going to be running through the door right embracing the future because you're going to have a lot of things coming towards you it's like you are manifesting something and i don't know if you don't believe in manifestation or like this is like you know you dip it oh okay i thought somebody y'all look y'all know i'd be very paranoid in my house for some reason i just be feeling like people be watching me honey okay anyways you know it's probably spirit <laughs> but spirit is saying that you need to be in the energy of understanding that you can create whatever you want so some of you guys are dipping your toe into manifestation some of you guys are manifestation pros and i feel like whatever you are doing make sure that you believe that anything's possible believe in the impossible because you're going to get exactly what you ask for and why not ask for the sky why not ask for above and beyond set your sights as high as possible because whatever you're asking for you're going to get it just make sure that you are you know asking for exactly what you want because you're going to be manifesting it your dreams are going to come true you have three cards of saying that what you're asking for is coming you're going to be offered something that you truly truly want and it's going to come from spirit above you're, you're going to get this you're probably going to get some messages about it before it comes and then it's going to be like bam in your life spirit says don't give up on your dreams like have you ever seen that meme where the guy is digging he's digging he's digging it's two guys digging and then one guy gives up right before he reaches the goal and the other one keeps on digging and he reaches the goal and he becomes rich so don't keep don't stop digging like keep going because you're you're almost there you're almost there and spirit says it's going to be like feeling like an end of a tough cycle and opening up to something new because you have the ten of swords and then you have the fool card which is not you know the ten of swords is not a major arcana so it's not like a major thing sometimes how can i say this you're gonna have a hundred percent a new beginning right but it's gonna be after a time of darkness a time of sadness a time of feeling like whoa it's me and then you're gonna get some type of energy and then you're gonna be like yes to life because maybe you're gonna be seeing your manifestation coming to reality i just feel like you have a major blessing this is not like you know trying to figure out a puzzle this is very clear you're going to get exactly what you asked for no if ands or buts about it but make sure you're asking for the best right So let me see. Let's be a little bit. Let's be a little bit nosy. What what's going on? What he had said? What what happened? What happened? What happened with Pound of Three? You have some wonderful things coming towards you. Oh, you. Oh shit. The feminine. Talk to me about the feminine. What's she doing? Oh shit. It's creating balance. That yin yang, honey. You got some nose. Oh, okay. So some of you guys are wanting to probably ask for a person back. I don't know if you're going to get a person back. One thing I do know is that you're going to get a new person. You're going to get someone. Someone's going to come at you. Because you had the no card and then you had the twin flames next to it. I just feel like maybe you need to probably stay away from certain people right now. And this is probably going to piss someone off. But I can't sugarcoat shit, especially if it's from spirit. Because trust me, what I'm saying to you is definitely a lot of sugar on it. Because <laughs> my spirit guides be like, fuck that nigga. Why is she so hung up on that nigga? And me, it's like, you know, maybe it's time for us to change our focus. Because it's saying that you have, that's why I keep on saying that. That's exact. Because I was like, why do I keep on asking for them to ask for the best? Maybe you've been asking for a relationship. Maybe you've been asking for a certain person to come back, right? Maybe you've been asking for 
maybe you've been trying to manifest a certain person. But Spirit is saying, why are you wasting your time on something that doesn't matter and you could be asking for the best? That's why I kept on saying it. Ask for the best, honey. Ask for a man that you don't have no damage with because you even says that Ten of Swords, that's the card that I see when it's a lot of damage being done in a relationship. Ask for what you want. If you want this person back, Spirit says no. You can ask more, but it's your life. Ask for what you want. Now, if, hold on one second. Hi, my love. Okay, I'm so sorry. I just got this really important email. Um, I think the best thing for you to do is just to set your sights high. If you want someone back, ask for that. If you want someone new and you know you can... Uh, the reason why I'm so hesitant to say what I want to say is because it's not wrong, right? It's not wrong to want an ex back. It's not wrong to want someone that you feel connected to back. But if you can ask for more in a person that hasn't harmed you and you, you guys have a fresh slate and spirit says we're going to give you the best of the best of the best, why not ask for the best of the best of the best and you got to go back to the past and try to fix some shit with somebody it's just do what you want but even in that energy of asking for the past ask for the best of the person that's coming back to you okay but even if it's not nobody in general god damn it you got something wonderful coming towards you so set your sights as high as possible because you will not get anywhere if you keep on doing if you keep on just like being complacent with what's coming towards you they're saying that they're going to give you what you want. Why not reach for the stars? You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I don't want to be pushy. I can be pushy and very preachy, honey. Very preachy. But I think that you are amazing, okay? Spirit says that you are more powerful than you realize. And that, look at the bottom of the deck, honey. The bottom of the deck. Set your sights high. Spirit says, make that wish. And maybe you maybe you should ask like a feminine energy around you about this, what you're asking for before you really start asking for it. It's something about you needing to talk to someone about your wish. Okay. Self-employment. Spirit says, yes. Look, you got a no to this bullshit. But you have a yes to self-employment spirit says now this now is the time for you to clean your home out clean your life out clean your mind out so that you can start working and creating some type of flow into your life spirit says a new dawn is coming and now is the time for you to really truly go after your heart's desires because you are protected against things that you can't see things you can see things that you can't feel things you can feel spirit says that you are protected you are loved and you are in their arms like this baby is in the mama arms Spirit says that now it's the time for you to just go after what you want and welcome in the new things. So some of you guys are creating businesses. It's a yes. <laughs> some of you guys are getting new job opportunities. It's a yes. So if this makes any type of sense to you, pal, three, please let me know. And I will talk to you beautiful people in the next one.